Lizzie Lewis says, do you have advice on trying to stay focused on weight loss, stop stress, eating, etc.? Yeah, got plenty of advice. I went through it, lived it. Uh, my advice to you is, is to look inside of your heart because the reason why we gain weight is because we lost weight on the inside. The reason why we're gaining weight, the reason why we're overeating is because we lost a sense of identity. We lost a sense of uh, self-awareness and we have a lack of discipline. And it all boils down to how you perceive yourself uh, 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 uh Perceive yourself <clears throat> in light of God. And so my advice to you is, is when you have something to live for, it's easy to lose the weight. It's easy to lose. and But when you lose identity and you lose intentionality and you lose uh, the creativeness, the, the zeal, the passion, the desire to... To, to work on behalf of God, when you lose sight of purpose, that's no need. To, to, when you lose sight of purpose, you become plump. You see what I'm saying? But when you gain a sight of purpose, you become uh, uh, in shape <clears throat> because you know, the, in order to fulfill a calling, you have to be conditioned. So what I need for you to do is to get a sheet of paper and I want you to think in process. First off, I want you to watch the entire video. I think it's an hour and 15 minutes of the last video I did on uh, how to discover your purpose. Those points in that video will help you really get within the proximity. I need you to sign up on a course so you can download that worksheet because that worksheet will help you find, uh, 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 will at least get you within the proximity of understanding your purpose. And then you will begin to process who you are in the presence of God with the Holy Spirit. And then you will begin to have a supernatural desire to fulfill, a natural desire to pursue purpose. And then when you recognize the type of person you need to be and the type of shape you need to be to fulfill that purpose, then you will have the desire, the want to, to lose the weight. But it all boils down to dealing with the insecurities in your heart. We gain weight because we lost weight on the inside. We lost sight on the inside. Insight is key. You have to look inside and look and gain sight of what is damaging your mind, what's causing you to be uh, uh, out of discipline, and then give that over to God and say, God, I repent for dealing with this issue. I repent for these habitual sins. I repent for all these different things. And the Holy Spirit, I welcome you to renew my mind. I'm releasing my will and I'm allowing you to take the will of my life to lead and guide me into all truth because the truth will set me free. And, and I believe uh, um, that I will uh, get into a position to lose weight because the enemy knows those who don't desire to be their best will succumb to stress. And what does that mean is when you do not rest in God, you want to, you want desire to become your best. And if you don't desire to become your best, you'll find yourself stressed because you will begin to practice things that brings unnecessary anxiety on you. And then you're pressed because now you're entertaining things through idleness. Because when you idle, you begin to entertain or become intertwined with things that you shouldn't. And then when you act on those things prematurely, immaturely, then you then you welcome consequences in your life. And those consequences add unnecessary stress in your life. And now you got to deal with, with, with all these extra things that you brought in your plate. But God can redeem the time. God can redeem what the canker worm and what the worm try to destroy. And, and, and God can, can make it happen. But you have to understand, going through it, um, uh, it may be not difficult, but you have to go through it. And, and but the help of the Holy Ghost will be able to help you. Now, when it comes to stress, you got to look at what's on your plate. I have this quote that I posted a few days ago: "Only eat what God has placed on your plate. Do not allow the pressures of the world to push you into gluttony." Now, what does that mean? So many people are adding unnecessary foods to their plate, unnecessary um, uh, uh, obligations to their plate, and they wonder why they're stressed. Only eat what God puts on your plate. The world is going to try to push you to have a better car. And I saw a person online a few a few days ago, they just paid their car off and they, they was asking Facebook, um, what car should they get? I'm like, bruh, you just paid your car off. Don't, don't that extra three to four hundred or five hundred dollars invest that back into your family, invest that into um, um, eliminating debt. So, most people, God done got you through, you done paid the car off, you done paid these different things off. But because you want to keep up with the Joneses, a family that doesn't exist, you start welcoming unnecessary things in your life and you wonder why you stress. So, examine your life and ask yourself, what have I allowed to be added to my plate? And what can I live without that I don't have to do, don't need to do, and 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 really get rooted in disciplines? Discipline works best when when you remove distractions and 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 you and decision and 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 discipline births well 
when you decide and when you remove distractions, you got to make a decision and decision must be made after the, after the awe of the divine and the awareness of your destiny. When you do those different things, you will find discipline birth and you begin to find stress subside because you will begin to find the beauty of resting in him. So what I need for you to do is I need you, I need you to look up scriptures on rest. I want you to look up scriptures on rest and I want you to meditate on those scriptures um, for the next, especially Psalms 23. I want you to process any scriptures on rest. Go to openbible.info type rest. I want you to find scriptures on that and process that and really allow the Holy Spirit to use elbow grease. You see what I'm saying? Get that in you so that you will be able to say, you know what? God's got it under control. I don't need this extra person in my life. I don't need these extra things in my life because I know God will fulfill in this time. Great question.